first, you'll need to power up the line check instrument. Check to be sure the correct input line voltage has been selected on the rear panel, either 115 volts AC or 230 volts AC. You'll also need to insert the remote interlock key into the signal input terminal on the rear panel. The instrument will not output voltage unless you use this key. This allows the user to wire the instrument to the doors of the DUT enclosure. This is a safe workstation best practice. Connect the power input plug into its socket on the rear panel of the instrument. Connect the male end of the plug to the outlet receptacle. Turn on the power switch located on the front panel of the line check. After powering on, press any key to navigate to the main menu. To set up a line leakage test, press the setup test key and then press the file key. You will first need to set up a new file. Press the new file soft key and use the alphanumeric keypad to enter a file name. When finished, press the enter key, press the add key, followed by the line leakage key. This will take you to the line leakage parameters window. For this video demonstration, we'll set up two line leakage tests. On the line leakage parameter screen, edit the parameters by using the arrow keys and the alphanumeric keypad. Use the soft keys on the right side of the screen to program the fault conditions, set the measuring device, and the probe configuration. Please refer to your appropriate safety standard to determine which conditions apply to testing on your products. Once you are done editing the test parameters, press the exit key and a message will be displayed on the screen to save the changes. Press enter to save the changes. In the video, we have set up an earth leakage current test under normal conditions followed by an earth leakage current test with an output neutral fault. We will be using the IEC 60950-1 measuring device. Next, we're going to connect an external power source to the line check. This will allow you to run power through the line check to power up the DUT during the line leakage testing. Then, we'll connect the line check to the DUT and run a test sequence. In order to connect the line check to a power supply and the DUT, you will need the following accessories. A two probe line cord with a line conductor and a neutral conductor terminated with lugs for an easy and secure connection to the DUT power input terminal of the line check. We will also be using an adapter box to connect the DUT. This instrument is rated to handle up to 40 amps of continuous current for the DUT. All input and output cables and adapter boxes used for testing must be rated appropriately. First, we need to connect an external power source for our line leakage tests. Remove the cover plate on the rear panel of the line check to access the DUT power input connections. These terminals provide the connections for an external power source to the line check. Use the two probe line cord to connect to an unbalanced single phase power source. Warning, be sure that the hot conductor of the power source is connected to pin 1, line terminal of the DUT power input terminal block, and neutral lead is connected to pin 2, the neutral terminal of the DUT power input. This condition can be very dangerous to the operator. Plug the other end of the two probe line cord into the external power source receptacle. In this example, we are going to connect to an associated power technology's 8512 1.25 kVA power source. The 8512 will be programmed to output 132 volts AC for our tests. Next, we're going to connect to the adapter box. These connections provide power to the DUT during a line leakage test. Connect the adapter box to the line, neutral, and ground terminals on the rear panel of the line check. To connect the DUT to the line check, simply plug in the class one DUT into the adapter box. Close the DUT enclosure door and stand back. Push the test button to run your test sequence. Once your test sequence has completed, use the arrow keys to review your results.